Oh! Oh, Wailed him with the catapult! Did you see that? Nice shooting, buddy! Hello, survivors, and welcome back to Indie Game Test Drive. Today is October 19th, 2015, and we are taking Kingdom out for a short spin. And we shall kick the proverbial tires, as it were, and see what she's got under the hood, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a good grasp of what the game is all about and whether or not it's something that you wish to pursue any further. If you do like what you see here in this video, then I will, of course, put a link down below in the description. That'll bring you to the Steam Store page, where you can purchase the game for $9.99. Actually, it's a pre-order at the time of this recording, on the 19th, and the game will unlock on the 21st. So, two more days. It is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and it is developed by Thomas Van Den Berg and published by Raw Fury. They gave me this copy to share with you guys, so thank you very much for that. Okay, having said all that, get the nitty-gritty out of the way, we can now start. A solitary king carries the crown to a new land. You can use your controller here, um, or a keyboard, and there's literally, like, three keys to press. Left, right, or down. <laughs> Very simple. Very simple, but incredibly engaging, and you'll see that in a moment. So here's our king. He's got a crown, a torch, and a horse, and that's about it. Oh, and a lovely uh, fuchsia cape, of course, yes. And nice white slacks. Kingdom. So, this is a 2D side-scrolling strategy... Strategy? <laughs> strategy resource management hybrid with a minimalist feel wrapped in a beautiful modern pixel art aesthetic. <sighs> Those are not my words. I read that. Those are way too fancy for me. I'm a simple guy, and that's why I love this game. It is simple, but um, but incredibly engaging at the same time. It's sort of like a roguelike, and you have one ultimate goal, and that is to expand your kingdom as far as you can before it gets destroyed, or you, well, basically, if you die, if your king gets killed, and we'll see. We'll probably see that eventually. Anyway, so we have found this little campfire. Let's set it alight, establish our kingdom, and now we're going to, uh, we're going to hire a couple of peasants. Peasant, grab that coin. Somebody grab the coin. Who wants it? Good. You got a job. You're hired. All right, we'll go over here and buy a bow for you. You, my friend, are the new bowman. The first bowman. There we go. The first bowman. And over here we have first builder. We're going to buy a hammer for you, and that costs three coins. There we go. Grab that hammer, and let's get you to work, shall we? Let's build up a wall here in this mound. One coin. Money makes the world go around, folks. Now, how do you get more money? Simple. You kill bunnies. The entire economy... <laughs> Watch. <laughs> the entire economy rides upon bunnies coming into your kingdom and getting shot by the bowmen so that you can collect their cash. And bowman over here, do you have any cash for me? He does. He's killed a few bunnies. Thank you. I collect my taxes, and now I can spend more money. And we can build up a wall here. Bam. Let's go get our builder. He'll, he'll do it on his own. He knows what to do. First day on the job, and he's, uh, he's, already, uh, he's already professional, proving his worth. All right, you shoot those bunnies. I'll come back for the cash. I'm going to gallop to the right and go find some more peasants to hire. King punch you it on the way. There we go. How fortunate. A pair of peasants. Let's check the bag of gold. I'm sorry. Oh, I do have more. There we go. Two more peasants. Welcome, citizens. Random citizens, follow me, please. <laughs> They're so slow. So this is uh, this is kind of the the what you do. You expand your kingdom out, either on the west side or the east side, and uh, slowly but surely you will eventually cover the entire world in kingdom. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far. I've died in my first playthrough. Um, I had a pretty good sized kingdom up, but then. I got killed by these little munchkins that come out at night. They look like evil Jawas, and they do attack you. And if you if they hit you and you don't have any cash, then uh, then you die. You lose the game. Oh, I forgot to buy bows. Here, I want I want another bowman. One bowman, and let's do three bowmen because that way we'll kill more bunnies and get more monies. We'll speed things up a little bit here. There we go. Nice shot. Oh, another one. Oh, he's, he's a good shot. Because sometimes they just shoot all over the dang place and miss. All right, so now night is falling, guys. And this means we need to get back into the kingdom here. Because now, like I said, the little killer munchkins come out. And they will attack. Oh, thanks. Hey, shoot this bunny, would you? I want more cash. I don't want to be out here at night. So let's go back inside where it's safe. 
So we can slowly expand our kingdom out again to the left and to the right. We can also upgrade our base here. But we got to get through the first day, I think, before we can do that. So now we wait. You can actually go out and explore. There's quite a bit out there. It's all procedurally generated, as far as I know. Um, so it's going to be... Oh, there's one now! Get out of here! Shoot that Jawa! Get him, man! Nice! Oh, he killed himself on the spikes. You guys missed. You're fired. Don't look at me. Don't look at him. Yeah, look that way. Sheesh. All right, then shoot a bunny at least, would you? I need some cash. <laughs> uh, they come at you kind of slowly in the beginning, one at a time here and there. Nothing too major. I think we can outrun most of them anyway. I think, but the horse does get tired. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here in the dark? Go that way and tell them I sent you. Grab a bow. Actually, you know what? I don't think there is a bow for you. I'll go buy one. Oh, day two. There we go. I saw that. You giving that? Thank you. He was he was taking a little off the top, wasn't he? He was skimming. I thought so. Oh, we get that chest right there too with some cash every morning. So let's uh, let's snatch that up before one of these guys gets tempted. And now we're gonna upgrade. Let's upgrade our kingdom. At least our base. Now we have a flag, and that raises morale. Um, and now we can do more things. I think. I'm not sure. I know we can um, we can expand out, but only... Oh, thanks. Um, we can expand out this way to the side, but you got to, like, chop down trees and stuff. So your, your building options are fairly limited. So let's, um, let's build up close to home first, and then we'll move out a little farther out. In fact, I think I'm going to go and hire a couple more peasants and drop a bow there. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no. There's no peasants here. Well, we can go exploring. Um, well, let's set up a job for building, and then we'll go exploring a little bit. We'll, we'll give some our builders a bit of work to do. That'll build up a stronger fence. Oh, here's a guy in a tower now. Isn't that nice? And we'll grab a few coins. You don't want to get stuck outside without any money. Like I said, those Jawas, if they attack you... Oh! Oh, thanks! You know, you could have said timber. Um, if they If they hit you... They attack you, and you don't have any coins in your bag. They take your crown, and that's then it's game over, man. Game over. So we don't want that to happen. I'm going to pre-purchase a hammer. And we have one bow here, and I'll take the rest of the coins with me. I saw that. This guy tries to get away with things. you got to keep an eye on this guy right here, okay? And why don't we throw up another little fence post? There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, old man, go get a job. Equal opportunity employee. Put some clothes on first. Oh, he has... Never mind. He's got a rose. That's cool. All right. Let's hustle over this way. And we can see what's out here. Ah, oh, more peeps. Um, I don't have a lot of money. How do I check my money, by the way? Without tossing a coin. All right. I'll hire one of you. You're the lucky man. I want to have some money on me. It's getting dark. So I don't want to go too far away. But I want to show you something. This is... Oh, I never saw one of these before. This is different. So, again, it's procedurally generated. Some kind of a rocket ship <laughs> it's an idol or a shrine or something oh no here they come go get out run them guys cover me i'm your king oh look a firefly neat hey pal come see me in the morning you come on any more bowmen oh my i'm tired horse is tired breathing heavy all right with this wall safe Whew, safe for now thanks yeah, shoot that guy, man. Oh, there's more. More than one. Shoot him! Shoot faster. All right, let's get behind this wall here. Let's get the build over here. Get a tower. I think those little Jawas can kill your, your, your citizens. I think. I'm not entirely positive about that. But unless they're in a tower, then they can't get to them because they run right under them. Oh, you did, you did it, dude. Not bad. All right, so now we have a tower there. We have one bow in reserve. Oh, it's day three. Sweet. Let's go expand on this side a little bit. Evil Brunt and Bunny is over here, huh, man? Thank you. And we'll put a... Let's put the fence up first. Oh! <laughs> Throwing money at the mound! There's nothing here! Hey, come here. All right, well, we can't do that. I guess we have to go in sequence. Oh, no, I think we just have to cut down this tree. If we cut down this tree, then I think we can put the fence up there. Builders! Where's my stinking builders? I think we need more builders. Here, let's, um, let's go hire some more builders. I wonder what's this way. Yeah, we're going to go to the uh, west a bit. There we go. Oh, pff, I keep doing that. <laughs> you got to take the tree down first. 
The music is absolutely fantastic. I love this art style too, frankly. I, this game brings me back to my old 8-bit Atari days, my Atari computer, and also the Atari 2600, I suppose. But um, back, back to a time when gaming was pretty simple. The concepts were very simple. Uh, controls were very easy. Because they didn't really have much to work with, obviously, with 8-bit computers. But the games are super engaging and a lot of fun. Alright, we're back with some cash. How you guys doing? Oh, we can build that fence now. Good. Thank you. Don't you be trying to keep any for yourself. I'm watching you. Let's see what else we got here. Now I think we can upgrade. Yeah, we can we can upgrade our tent to something a little bit um, more illustrious. Let's do it. There we go. Oh, we got a fence now. Okay. I don't really know what the fence does. Maybe the uh, evil Jawas have to fight their way through that all the way or something. Let's build this up too. I've got three coins for that. No problem. And we'll snag a couple of peasants here. I'm sorry. Did I call you a peasant? <laughs> all right. How about we get... Uh, we've got two people incoming. I see one bow there. And I think what we're going to do is... Uh, oh, we have a hammer here as well. All right. Well, let's... You know what? Let's, let's make another bowman. There we go. We got two bowmen coming in. I don't know what the count. I wish they had like a head count. It just showed you a general number somewhere of uh, the number of builders and the number of archers that you have. Oh, see, there you go. The flag gets pushed back a little bit, and now we have lights a little farther into the woods. And I only have one coin, and it's getting dark. I'm gonna hang onto this coin till morning, just in case I get tapped by a Jawa. Whoa! Oh my gosh, here they come. Oh, it's a big group. Hey, dude! Go do something. Oh, what did they do to him? Okay, that was my builder. It looked like they knocked the hammer out of his hand. And he was a peasant again. But then he got his hammer back. Interesting. Did he get the hammer from over here? Oh, he did. Oh, I get it. So you have to have that hammer in reserve. So he doesn't die right away if he gets tagged, but he will lose... He'll forget his job. He'll be like, well, what was I hired for again? Okay. Gotcha. So there's a bit of strategy here involved. And uh, I think, the, obviously, there's a lot to explore, too. We could go out and do some exploring. There's all kinds of things to find out there. Or you can just sit here and try to uh, build up your kingdom and stay close at home. If that floats your boat. Oh, we have this dude. Right. So, he sells, uh, like a scythe. Isn't that what that is? Is that for harvesting? I, it's either a weapon or, like, a, a farming tool. I'm not really sure. I can't afford it right now, anyway. Um, I have, in the past, in my first playthrough, I've had a couple of guys running around with those. Oh, thanks, man. You are a bunny slayer extraordinaire. Let's put a wall here. Um, I have in the past had a guy walking around with this thing. It's basically what death uses, right? Isn't that a scythe? Let's get one. I think it's a weapon. But now we have to go hire somebody. Alright, let's go do that. Oh, I see you behind the tent. Whenever you're done doing your duty. Here, you're hired. Alright, let's, um... Well, let's go take a little ride, shall we? Oh, here's the... Yeah. Hmm. The traitor. Traitor, huh? He, he, he does give us four bows, so it's a pretty good savings. Uh, oh. Decisions, decisions. No, I'll, I'll be back for you. I want to go take a quick ride. I love the fireflies. Oh, man. More peasants. Um, ah! Okay, go. Run! Before the night. Okay, let's see if we get a little farther than we did last time. But I'm not going to run right now. I suppose my... Oh, there, there's the gate. This is where the evil Jawas come out. Do you guys ever see the movie Phantasm? It's like from the 80s, I think. Whoa! Yes, those are from Phantasm, the movie. Freakiest movie ever. I don't remember much about it. But it was like some kind of a... Um, it was like a, a cemetery or a morgue or something. 
and there was some creepy experiments going on in the basement of the place. What's up? Oh, why is he down like that? Oh no, there goes one of my coins. No! Run, King, run! Somebody help me, why are you screeching? Oh, I'm dead. He took my crown. He took my crown. No, get the crown! Oh, it's over. <laughs> Look at him. Thanks for the help. Yeah, thanks for the assist, pal. No crown, no king. Oh, I didn't know you could pick up the crown after it gets knocked off your head. That is pretty cool. All right. I wasn't really trying that hard, guys. But I did want to show you some of the gameplay um, as much as possible in a 20-minute period. And I think that's, um, that's just about right. So that worked out well. All right, guys. I am back with a new playthrough. We have a queen now instead of a king, and she seems to be much better at this uh, kingdom management thing than the king was anyway. So um, I just want to show you some of the things that we can do besides just expanding the borders. Um, not only do you expand borders and claim territory on the eastern and the western fronts, but you can also uh, progress through certain technologies. As you can see right there, we now have a catapult. Isn't that awesome? So these uh, two build are those builders? Yeah, the builders are gonna wheel this, I imagine, over to the uh, to the far eastern wall and use it for defense. Ooh, suddenly I'm getting a lot of money. Hey, buddy, do you even have a job? Who are you? Oh, do we? Where do these peasants come from? I'm not really sure, but let's um, let's hire them. Let's give them some um, work to do. All right, here comes the catapult. Just curious to see where they stop. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been this far along before. Dude, why don't you get behind the walls? Why are you over here wandering around in the woods? All right, here's a peasant. Give him a job. Okay, so here's the catapult. They wheeled it out behind the, uh, the exterior wall. That seems to make sense. It looks like it's got a boulder all, um, all ready to fire. Excellent. Now, let's see if this guy grabs... Hey, buddy, grab one of these sides. Here, come here, come here, come here, hold on, grab it. Yeah, all right, so he, so he is a soldier, okay. I wasn't sure if he was going to go do farming or something. Oh, there's another one, excellent. And I'm wondering what this does. I don't think I have enough coinage to find out right now. Oh, wow, you killed many bunnies. Oh, by the way, you can kill deer, too, for money. So, the economy runs on deer and bunny power. I'm gonna take that tree down. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that right now in the dark. Oh, dang. Cancel that order, builders. Cancel that order. Oh, no. There they go. It looks like we don't shoot bunnies in the night. <laughs> we save our arrows for the enemy. The evil Jawas. Hey, can you cover these guys? Okay, looks like they're gonna build the tower here first. They're raising up the tower. Oh, no. There he goes. I'm going to try to take down this tree. You know what I'm going to do is plop a hammer down here in case we lose one of these chumps. I seem to have the right... Oh, no, they got him. What did I tell you? Oh, see? Oh, he picked up the hammer, and I was going to go finish the job. Wow, he's dedicated. Timber, now get back over here behind the wall. Oh, we got a coin for the tree? Thanks. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a few more minutes of gameplay to demonstrate that there's more to it than just expanding your borders out with uh, little wooden walls and with archers and, uh, and builders. I do believe that we're going to get uh, maybe um, armored soldiers with, uh, I don't know, knights or something. Oh, here's a bridge. Let's make a bridge just cause, because we can. There we go. Let's get the builders over there. And I'm curious what we can make right here. Maybe this is another catapult just on this side, on the western side of my kingdom. My queendom, I should say. All right, let's go collect monies on the east side. Wait a minute, he is farming. <laughs> okay, he did build a farm. He's a farmer, not a, not a soldier. Or maybe he fights with his scythe. But it looks like he's got a scarecrow here, and he's um, he's harvesting, or at least um, tilling the earth. Yeah, that's what he's doing, tilling the earth. Well, let's get a wall here. We need to protect our farmers. I wonder if we can make money with, with like, farm foods. Farm fresh foods. Natural and organic. I don't know. We'll find out. 
Man, going crazy shooting them bunnies. Well, trying to shoot the bunnies. There we go. Can somebody load the catapult, please? You guys do know how this works, right? You're going to shoot cows at them, maybe bunnies? There we go. Moving it up front. So we do have a farm. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, hurry up. Get the catapult ready. Whoa, that's a lot. I got to get back here. Sorry. Whoa. Skull faces. Oh, dear. I have to retreat. Fight. Shoot them. I think they took control of my catapult. Gotta run. Gotta run. Sorry, guys. Uh. All right. Let's get some more bowmen going. <laughs> I didn't notice if the farmers fought with their size or not. No, they're running. So maybe they're not f fighters. They're, they're farmers. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Sorry, guys. Gotta go now. Guys, turn around and shoot. From the west. Ooh, I don't like that guy with that helmet. Oh! Oh, whaled him with the catapult. Did you see that? Nice shooting, buddy. I don't know how the heck you missed me, but... <laughs> heck of a precision shot you got there. All right, everybody get back to work. You guys need jobs, don't you? Grab a bow. I don't have any money. Morning, it's morning. All right, ooh. Okay, we made it. And that was quite the assault they had on us on that side, huh? What else did we lose? Did we lose builders, too? I don't know. I gotta go take stock. I guess I have to rehire people. Look at them all milling around without... Hey! Hey! Yeah, that's right. Get that back to me. I'm trying to hire this chump. Gotta keep stealing the money. Hey, yeah, grab that bow, man. Alright. Anyway, I think we're gonna call it quits here. I just, again, I wanted to show you guys that uh, you can advance in technologies. Where are all these refugees coming from? I don't have any room for you guys. We have nothing. I don't even have any walls in this side anymore. Go. Get out of here. Back to the woods with you. <laughs> I'm splitting. Goodbye. <laughs> I can't abandon my kingdom. All right. We're going to we're going to rebuild. Let's rebuild. Let's get some walls back up. My understanding is if you go off and do some exploration, you can find chests out in the world and other things that might help you. So, I have not tried that strategy yet. My strategy is to stick around the kingdom and run it. I'm a very hands-on queen like that, you see? All right, anyway, I'm going to call it quits right here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, let me know if you want to see more. I'd be happy to play more. This is really quite fun. Um, but that's it for now for the indie game test drive. Hopefully you guys have seen enough of the game to uh, make an intelligent decision as to whether or not you want to check this game out further. We're done for now. Hope you enjoyed. See ya. Bye-bye. Shoot the dang bunny. Thank you.